Chili cheese toasty featuring the granny toaster. This is like something you'd find in like, not even a, like a great granny's house. Like when they just started electricity. That's where you'd find this. In a museum. That's where this belongs. Lord, are you toaster shaming me right now? <laughs> I am toaster shaming you, bro. Cancel. I'm offended. I find that offensive <laughs> to my people. This cheese toasty recipe, super simple. I've kept it simple. Low amount of ingredients, max efficiency, great taste. Oh, that's what we're talking about. So first thing you gotta do is make a little, a little chili cheese ting. Chop up three chilies with a spring onion. Maybe, maybe consider peeling the spring onion. We want to keep the seasoning chilli, because we ain't pussies out here, are we, Emil? Nope. Follow her up with a wee bit of coriander. The boy can cook. You think so? What can you tell me? You've made me so happy. How many continents there are in the world? Um... The last time I checked there was seven? Wrong. There was. Seven. <laughs> there are now six. This is like classic Korean bread, but also this is what you use for toasties. Mm. You want that real, the real fake ass bread, and that's what makes mm. it good. It's thick. It is thick. So, give it the old toast. Right, paprika. Hell yeah. Give her a little mix. This isn't your everyday toasty, is it? I've got a feeling. This is not your everyday toasty. Something a little bit special. Every time you go on hot lemons, you find something special. That's what I'm saying. Now, mm, I love cheese. So, this is the first dimension of flavor. Obviously, you know, out here, we ain't playing around. You know, we do things good. Brie, my favorite cheese. I thought you was a cheddar man. I am a cheddar man. Do you love cheddar? Yeah, try some. Mm. What the fuck do you think you're <laughs> doing? <laughs> you will get fucking one banged out here, my friend. You think you're gonna one bang me? one bang, my friend. That's gonna help you. <laughs> fuck you up. What? Fuck you up. What? Fuck you up. You up. You're so red. It's called the palm. So that fucking brie. <laughs> that is, I'm telling you what, that's good brie. That is mm. yummy brie. I dig that. For Korean brie. Oh shit. So I'm just gonna cut this brie up. Cancel that. We're gonna go in. <laughs> Cancel you. We're gonna go in with some sun-dried tomato pesto all over the bottom. And then we're gonna hit it with the brie. Like a little pizza toasty. You know me. I don't go simple. I go hard, fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can double that fast part. <laughs> they used to call you Free Second Floyd back in the day. For good reasons. You can do a lot in three seconds, me. <laughs> it's not about the time you're given, it's how you use it. So now, we're gonna go on with our cheesy goodness. If you pile it in the middle, then it will spread to the edges. Mmm, smell. Big boys. Now, this is a good time to hit it with some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, okay it's just falling over like a, like a volcano. Mm -mm. Yeah, don't be shy with that oyster. For those that don't know about oyster sauce and cheese toasties, Americans. <laughs> you think so? It is the combo. Yeah, America, I don't think Americans do that. I think it's a British thing. Yeah, actually, it, it is a British thing. Mm. You're right. Americans don't know about it, but they should get to know. They should get to know. There we go. Straight onto the grill. We back, baby. We are back. So I just stuck this under the grill for about two, three minutes. And you always want to keep your eye on your toasty, just to make sure that you don't burn the outside. If you can get it golden brown like that, you're onto a winner. Dude, I haven't had a chili cheese toast in a very long time. Give me a cheese ball, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Get your ass over here, Emil. How'd you feel? I feel ready. I mean, you're lucky that I didn't knock you out. Oh, you might get head kicked. I've warned you about this. You've been warned. Head kicked. 
That's some old man business, bro. Okay. Good old cheese on toast. Yeah. Yeah, a crunchy veg in there would make things healthy. Mm. That is a lovely cheese on toast. That's such a hybrid. Mm. Mm. You got a bit here. Nice. And then just as fresh chili cheese. So soft and gooey. Mm. I think though, for the cheese ball, mozzarella was the choice. Flavour though, no cheese might be better. It's true. Some cheds in there. You always need this cheese pull from the mozzarella. And actually, you know that real cheese, it doesn't pull. Mm. It's all the chemicals they pull in the processed cheese. Yeah. That gives it the pull. It's so good. If you guys don't brie. care about cheese pull, use a cheddar, I'd say. Yeah, go for cheddar. But that brie, brie though, have the brie. Don't skip the brie. Don't ever skip the brie. Mm. Never skip it. It's like skipping leg day. Never skip leg day. <laughs> you skipped every leg day of your life. <laughs> <laughs> when life gives you lemons. Then you fucking dare skip leg day. Mm.